No, he just put a magazine in it and he's still trying to load it. Here's a perfect example of left-wing politics. Every aspect of this right here. So you've got a murderer running around St. Louis right now. He just shot another person in the head. Which is weird because no one's allowed to have guns in St. Louis. Criminals or law-abiding citizens. Try being a law-abiding citizen with a gun when BLM storms across your front yard. You'll be arrested if you go out and protect your property. That being said, in this gun-free zone, no shooting people zone, surprise, somebody got shot. And the news over here, the police department, the city council, everybody involved refused to give out any type of descriptors to help find the person who shot another person in the head. Because they don't want to be a Scott Adams. We're going to need way more Scott Adams templates, boys. I'll tell you right here. So here you go. Man shot in the head, downtown St. Louis. The... Homicide Division, everybody, is handling the investigation. Well, let's see if we can help them with this investigation. Because we've got to find the person who did this, right? There you go. The suspect, who police described as a 23-year-old, ran from the scene. Any, any, anything else? You you know the dude's age. You, you got a good enough look of the dude that you could guess his age. Anything else? The fact that there's nothing else in the description box over here is telling you exactly what is going on. Because it's racist to point out it's a black and brown dude, right? They don't want to get some of that Scott Adams heat. Well, I can help you idiots out because we've got video of the dude doing this. And the entire thing's insane. The guy is fiddling around with a gun in broad daylight in a downtown city on a street corner in front of a Panera Bread. He's fiddling with the gun. He doesn't even know how to load it. And then he goes and he executes that guy. On the ground, sitting, puts the gun to his head, blows his brains out in front of all these people. And the people in the comment section are like, oh my god, man. oh my god, this, why didn't anybody in the Starbucks do anything? Because the guy's crazy. They don't want to do anything to the guy who just shot the other guy because, number one, the guy's black. And they don't want to get in trouble with that, right? They don't want to be a racism. You guys on the left-hand side set all of this up, by the way. You're allowing all of this to continue happening. Nobody in that Panera is going to do anything... Because if they stop that guy, it'll be seen as racist. Right? Then, as the dude uh, is doing this, anybody who's going to stop him would most likely be an armed person. Well, an armed person isn't going to stop this guy these days. We just saw in St. Louis, you guys tried to arrest the McCloskeys for protecting their own property. No armed individual is going to get involved. The armed individual is going, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. He ain't going to shoot me because I'll shoot him first. But I'm not going to save anybody else because the way you Democrats handle all of this. So you did everything over here, lefties. You did everything. While you're screaming about white supremacy, while you're screaming about the KKK and Nazis and Donald Trumpers, and while you're constantly looking for evil white people all over the place, and then not arresting other individuals based on their skin color for long, 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 long rap sheets, you set this entire system up. And the armed conservatives in this area, we ain't going to help you. We're not interested in helping you. We're not going to get involved. Again, because that's how things play out on the left-hand side. We'll be the ones in trouble. If we stop a dude from shooting another dude, we'll be a racist. We'll be, we'll be arrested. So we're just going to protect ourselves. And you guys can continue to die off in your Democrat-run cities. Congratulations. You own all of this. And, and, and after the dude does this, you still run protection for the criminal by not giving out descriptions of the guy to help find the dude who, who did this. this is ins you guys are insane. You're insane. And you get everything that you deserve. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel. You want to be kept up to date with Get Out of Cities. Hit that subscription box. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> hit everything. This, this story is nuts. All right, guys. Take care. I got to go. It's almost fun.